Boys and girls, we're going to get started on Cam Jansen and the Mystery of the Dinosaur Bones, our review pages. So take out that packet. The first one is compound words. It says, read the compound words in the word box. Choose a word that makes sense in each sentence. So our example is Cam thought something strange was going on. So they crossed up something and they broke all the words up into the two words. They drew a line between them. Now, when you write the word, would you draw that line between it? No, you would not. Just like they didn't here, they did not draw that line between it because it is a compound word. It's two words that are put together to make one. So let's look at number one. Eric put the dinosaur blank in his pocket. Okay, let's read our words. Milkman, pickaxe, today, sidewalk, halfway, kickstand, nothing, postcards, driveway, inside. Which one makes the most sense? Eric put the dinosaur blank in his pocket. You're right, postcards. He put the dinosaur postcards in his pocket. Number two, we need to hurry because the museum closes early blank, said Eric. Which one makes the most sense? We need to hurry because the museum closes early today, said Eric. I'm gonna cross that one off. I also did not cross off postcards. Let's do number three. Cam was blink up the steps before Eric got off his bike. Cam was milkman up the steps before Eric got off his bike. Cam was pickaxe up the steps before Eric got off his bike. Cam was sidewalk up the steps before Eric got off his bike. Or Cam was halfway up the steps before Eric got off his bike. Halfway makes sense. So I'm going to write that word. And if I keep working, kickstand, nothing, driveway, and inside would not make sense. So it must be halfway. Number four, Eric and Cam wanted to hide blink the museum. Which word makes the most sense? You're right, inside the museum. Cam and Eric, Eric and Cam wanted to hide inside the museum. Number five, the blink parked next to a small brick house. The blink parked next to a small brick house. We have milkman, pickaxe, sidewalk, kickstand, nothing and driveway left. Number six, Cam knew there was blink else they could do. Remember, pause the video if you need more time. Number seven, a milk truck parked in the museum blank. And number eight, Cam and Eric rode their bicycles down the blank to the street. Hmm, what can you ride your bicycles on? Okay, turn the page. All right, we are going to cross off this page. Okay, here's a little surprise for you again. Turn the page again. Okay, I want you guys to classify the words. We have dinosaur words. They already said bones is a dinosaur word. Ways to travel, parts of a bicycle, and museum workers. You do not have to do this bottom part. So, it says read the words in the word box. Then read the four headings below. Write each word under the heading where it best fits. One word is done for you. We have pedals, silophysis, truck, bus, guard, guide, kickstand, prehistoric, director, car, skeleton, seat, bones, and bicycle. So let's start at the beginning, pedals. Is that a dinosaur word? A way to travel, part of a bicycle, or a museum worker? Pedals are part of a bicycle, so I'm gonna write the word down below. Cross that word off. The next one is coelophysis. Do you remember what a coelophysis is from our story? It is a dinosaur, so I'm gonna write that word up above under dinosaur words because it is a type of dinosaur. Cross off that word. Our next word is truck. 
Is truck a dinosaur word? A way to travel? Parts of a bicycle or a museum worker? A truck is a way to travel. Great work, boys and girls. Keep it up. The next one is bus. What would bus be? Bus is also a way to travel. And the last one we're going to do together is guard. Is a guard a dinosaur bird? A way to travel? Part of a bike? Or a museum worker? A guard is a museum worker. Remember the guard's the one that caught Cam and Eric hiding inside the museum. The rest of the words that you have to do is guide, kickstand, prehistoric, director, car, skeleton, seat, and bicycle. Okay, if you don't know one, skip it and then come back to it at the end. Turn the page. All right. So our last worksheet that we're gonna do today is antonyms and synonyms. Remember, antonyms are opposite. Synonyms, s -s synonyms mean the s -s same. So it's two words that mean the same thing. So hot and warm would mean would be synonyms. They mean the same. Hot and cold would be antonyms because they are opposites. So it says, think about the underlying word as you read each sentence. Then look at the word written after the sentence. Write A if the two words are antonyms. Write S if they are synonyms. Remember, s -s -s synonyms, s -s -s same. Here we go. The example says, Cam and Eric followed the guard to the front entrance. Entrance is the underlying word, so we're comparing entrance and exit. They are opposites, so they wrote an A for antonyms. Let's do number one. It was a warm day, so Cam and Eric rode their bikes to school. We're comparing warm to cool. What are warm and cool? Are they the same or are they opposite? Warm and cool are opposites, which means they are antonyms. So I'm going to write an A for antonyms. Number two. Eric knew the museum was going to close early. The underlined word is early. We're comparing early to late. Are early and late the same or are they opposites? They are opposites, so I know they are antonyms, so I'm going to write an A for antonyms. Number three. The case was full of photographs of dinosaur skeletons. The underlined word is photographs. We're comparing photographs to pictures. Are photographs and pictures the same thing or are they opposites? They are the same, so they're synonyms. So I'm gonna put an S for synonyms. Number four, the office was filled with statues of famous people. The underlying word is famous. And we're comparing that to well-known. If you are famous, you are also well-known. So they mean the same. If they mean the same, what letter would I put here? I would put an S for synonyms because s -s -s synonyms, s -s -s same, okay? Number five, Cam told the director that someone was stealing dinosaur bones. The underlying word is stealing and taking. Is stealing and taking the same or are they opposites? They are the same, so I write an S again. Number six, Cam thought it was strange for a milk truck to come so late. The underlying word is strange. The word we're comparing it to is odd. Strange and odd, are they the same or are they opposites? Number seven, it was late afternoon and the streets were crowded. The underlying word is crowded. The word we're comparing it to is empty. What are crowded and empty? Are they the same or are they opposites? Crowded and empty. Number eight, the man was going to make a copy of the real bone. The underlying word is real. The other word is fake. Are real and fake the same or are they opposites? Number nine, Eric and Cam heard the front door slam. The underlined word is slam. 
and the word it's being compared to is bang. Are slam and bang the same or opposites? Write it on the line. And our last one, number 10. Cam peeked around the side of the garage. The underlined word is peeked and we're comparing it to looked. Are peeked and looked the same or opposites? Nice job, boys and girls. Remember, you can pause this video at any time. Keep up the great work.